Jeff, how are you, bro? Thanks for joining us on the show, man. Uh, how's things been, all right? Yeah, everything's good, man. Just uh, sitting in the uh, backstage in New Orleans tonight. So we're just uh, bands on stage doing sound check, and I'm just doing a few interviews with you fine people. Oh, awesome, man. Because uh, you guys are on tour with Devil Driver at the moment, is that right? Yep, just a couple left with the Devil Driver boys, and then we uh, we move on to our headliner. Unreal, man. How big is that headline one you got coming up? Uh, it's another month, so we do we do head back to the we're kind of in the south right now. We're gonna head over to the east coast and then up to Canada a little bit, and uh, ends all the way on the west coast in Oregon right before Halloween, and then uh, then we'll fly home and take November and December off. Awesome. Have you got a big Halloween show planned? You know we don't. Uh, we usually do play back home uh, for Halloween, but um, we we started kind of abandoning that show and doing our anniversary show which is december 5th every year and they just became too close to each other so uh now we just do the christmas anniversary show cool those long trips i mean how do you guys uh keep yourself entertained on the bus do you do you play pranks on each other or make uh, up I, games or <laughs> boy you know it's uh every day it's a new uh, it's always interesting to see how you're going to keep yourself entertained during the day uh it's a big hurry up and wait but Obviously, everybody at this day and age is pretty glued to their telephones. So uh, I was just uh, watching that Mexico City or somewhere in Mexico had a really big earthquake. So I was just kind of reading up on that. But yeah, you know, there's ways to to kill time for sure. And try not to start drinking too many beers too early. So no more blowing things up like the old uh, Pantera days. Nah, you know, well we grew up on those home videos, but I figured that. Uh, we we better we better refrain from uh, messing up too many uh, dressing rooms. <laughs> I guess those dudes could afford it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They had a, they had deeper pockets than we did. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, of course, I've been cranking the new thirty six crazy fits album Lanterns, and uh, man, this thing really kicks. So many good tracks. It's uh, you and the boys have done well, man. Awesome, awesome work. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. But yeah, we, uh, it's always nice talking to you guys. You know, you guys are always been real kind to us. So, uh, yeah, another another uh, album under our belt, and uh, we're excited to still still be doing it, of course. And uh, looking forward to getting down to Australia, hopefully in uh, February. That's kind of the plan. Oh, that's that's some awesome news, man. Especially for us. I mean, it's been a, it's been a little while since we've actually seen you guys. I think it was Soundwave was last time. Yeah, yeah, 2011. Whoa. Uh, it's been, uh, been too long. For some reason we didn't get a chance to go on the last album, so uh, I made a point to have discussions with management and booking agents and let them know that Australia was priority this time. So uh, I actually had a nice phone call about it this morning. So it's all kind of fleshing out and uh, hopefully have some dates to announce pretty soon. Oh, that's excellent news, man. Because, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely keen to see you guys back down. It's, it's, as you said, it's been too long. And uh, in regards to the album, it's it's pretty dark. You know, it's a dark album. And uh, the the album cover sort of reflects that. Was What was it that drove the direction for this album? Was it personal? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, they're all, all the albums, I guess, are somewhat as a time fault of the a little look in of my personal experiences and this one being probably the darkest chapter of my life uh just kind of went through the mud a little bit here and there and uh you know just kind of just found out how much i needed my support group my family my friends uh when you are at a place like that you you tend to want to bottle things up and you want to uh you know keep it inside and not let everybody know that you're going through maybe something that's embarrassing or, or something you're ashamed of. And, uh, you know, I learned that it's okay to be vulnerable and naked and to actually burn through all that stuff and, and actually feel it and, you know, grow from it. And, uh, you know, no one's perfect. Uh, everyone has their dark moments and, uh, we're all looking for a certain tool to help us get out of it. Uh, I think lanterns is, um, just a full, you know, encompassed album of, of, you know, trudging through the mud and, and how I found my way out of it. So, uh, you know, lantern being a metaphor for the beam, being a, a source of light, 
And uh, I, I was happy to finally find also a, a one-word title for an, uh, one of our albums because in the past I usually have these pretty long, <laughs> drawn-out titles. So uh, I was happy to finally find one word that actually could, uh, you know, wrap up the entire album. Are you doing all right now? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's always a work in progress, I think, for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, absolutely, I'm not where I was. I'm uh, uh I don't have the mental fragility that I had during that time. You know, there's a, a series of things that happened in my life all at the same time. And it kind of steamrolled from the last album where, you know, I was dealing with the, the loss of my mother. And, and then it just kind of, you know, I, I've, I've had my issues with substance abuse and alcoholism over the years. And I think when you, uh, you know, you bottle things up and you also have those issues. Oh, man, some things reveal themselves when you least expect them to, and you can, you know, get yourself down the wrong path. So I think what I've learned is, you know, to have these alarms built inside of us now that tell you, you know, hey, last time you did that, it didn't work out very good for you, so maybe try something different. And, uh, yeah, so I'm definitely still still battling. I think we all are in some sense, but I'm much uh, much happier in a much happier place these days. That's good to hear, dude. It's good to hear because I mean, you know, a lot of musicians, you know, struggle through through so many of those things, you know, and you know, it's it's excellent to hear that you you're doing all right, my friend. Yeah, yeah, no, man, I I uh, I try to dwell on the blessings and and the things that I've got to do these days, as opposed to the the darker side. And uh, I'm I'm grateful for a lot in my life. I've got to do some amazing things. In my life, I have amazed people in my life as well. So uh, I think once I turned the corner and I started really focusing on, you know, being more grateful for what I have and, and, and not concerned with what I don't have, uh, I think that really helped me in my, my mental battles. And that's, you know, that's inspiring for a lot of people, man, even myself. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's something that's so great about about music, you know. You share that with people and uh, gives them hope. Yeah, absolutely, man. We all, I, ultimately, man, I learned that people need people. We really do. And uh, I think when you, you have a good support group around you, you really realize how much you do need them. And, and hopefully you can be, or I can be, that for someone else with their, their, their trying times. So, uh, yeah, it's all part of the journey, man. Life is weird, but, you know, it's also incredible and beautiful, and it's got a lot of wonderful elements to it as well so i just tend to try and focus on that these days absolutely absolutely and uh of course man uh i'm currently at the workplace doing this interview and on our playlist we have um blood work i probably hear that about 30 times a week because it's a set playlist and it's one song that you know i never get sick of hearing you know i get sick of hearing all the others but it's one track that i'll hear and i'll always crank it up um you know, is there a song that you can listen to a thousand times and, and be like, yeah, I love it? Uh, well, I can. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be blood work for me. I'd have to turn that down immediately. <laughs> 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 but uh, oh man, I could listen to Alice in Chains any time of the day. Pretty much anything uh, with Metallica. Uh, you know, Metallica, Alice in Chains. Those two bands, they can do no wrong in my eyes, and I listen to those bands daily. So, yeah, I don't really skip over too many of those. I just hit play and let them roll. So it means Van means something when you can actually do that. So for, I don't know. I'm a bit off Anna Salmon. I think a lot of people are. But, uh, but you know, there's still the, those tracks that you can just listen to over and over and over again and not get sick of. Yeah, definitely. There's some, uh, there's some, there's some timeless music that never gets old. But, boy, you know, uh, I, I work in radio myself when I'm not on tour. And, you know, the way that the songs have to be played over and over, and I get the rotation, but, man, you can drive them into the dirt and not want to hear them ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, as I said, blood work, I can hear it 20,000 times a week, and yeah, it'll cool. it'll be cool. Yeah, um, yeah get, keeps me sane, brother. And um, so, uh, of course, uh, another thing is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you toured, you opened or toured for, with Primus years ago. Is that right? Uh, that was our, our first big show we ever played back in Anchorage, Alaska. In 1996, we opened for Primus when they came to town. See, that's unreal, man. So I'm a huge Primus fan, and uh, you know they're, they're one of those bands. It's it's hard to imagine 
and there's nothing like Primus. There's no other band. But I could actually imagine seeing you guys with them, and it would have been awesome. I mean, but still, if you said it's, it's, it sounds a bit unlikely, you know that uh, you know different styles and stuff like that. But is there is there a team up right. of a band that you know you'd love to tour with that would be like completely uh, outside the box? Ooh, outside the box. Um, well, you know what, man? I guess if I'm going outside the box, I always loved the band The Cult. And Ian Asbury is one of my favorite singers. I always thought it would be pretty cool if he sang on one of our songs. So I guess if we're going outside the box, I mean, we're pretty different musically. Uh, but I love The Cult. It would be cool to open for those guys. You should hit him up. Why don't you just... Just hit him up. I know. You got his number? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a call and say, hey, man, next album, jump on, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be a dream, man. That'd be so cool. <laughs> no, he's a great front man. And, uh, but every time they tour down here, it's so damn expensive that I can never go see him. It's always like... Is that right? Yeah. Oh, oh dude. Oh, man, breaking the bank. So one band I'll probably ne- never get to see live. Time. Oh, really? One time in Portland, Oregon, and he broke like 10 tambourines and kept throwing them out in the crowd and just danced his ass off all night. They were they were incredible. That's unreal. Do you think he just tours with like a, a truck full of tambourines? <laughs> he must. <laughs> he, they just kept coming. They just got, kept getting thrown at him like it was nothing. So he must have a truck load. So he's like drum tech, guitar tech, tambourine tech. Tambourine tech. That's the, That's what you want to be. That's it, man. That's where the money is. So, what am I doing? Yeah, well, they're not too heavy. So, you know, you don't have to carry around a, well, maybe the rolling case of a truckload of ta- tambourines is pretty heavy, but uh, <laughs> as opposed to like bass gear or something like that, you're in the right spot. Well, you'd hear yourself coming down the hallway. <laughs> exactly. You're not sneaking <laughs> up on anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, a good way to pick up ladies, too. What do you do? Um, tambourine tech for the cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, man, it's uh, it was awesome to talk to you again, dude. And uh, I'm really hoping uh, that we get that announcement really soon because uh, we're hanging to see you guys again. The long overdue, brother. Oh, man, we can't wait to come back down there. It's one of our favorite places ever. And we didn't get to come, like I said, on the last album. So uh, we're definitely looking forward to getting back down there. Awesome, man. Awesome. And uh, enjoy the tour. You and the boys, you know, and I hope uh, hope you have a good good run and uh, stay safe and uh, have a few beers and we'll see you soon, dude. Yeah, thanks so much for the kind words. We appreciate it, man. We'll see you in a few.